And welcome back to episode number two of Cake Core SMP. I uh, hope you enjoyed episode one last week. It was, or last time I uh, uploaded it, uh, I decided instead of doing an official entrance video, I just was mucky about with people on a call. I met up with the new guys, they seemed pretty cool. And yeah, we are back on Cake Core SMP. This is the second season. I did say episode two. But in actual fact, it's episode 24 because I kept the episode numbers from last season similar to what uh, Etho used to do and similar to what Susuma Void still does with uh, Hermitcraft. Just something I thought I would do. Uh, but yeah, let's log in. There's, oh, somebody else joined. I think Spotters joined or somebody different just joined. There was only three on when I uh, loaded up the world. Oh, Alton and Caesar both have a single death. Sup, boys. <laughs> who dat? Who dat? Alright. Um, so yeah, we're at 0-0 zero, zero here. Looks like they got a Dark Oak tree here. And they're beginning the start of the wharf. The wharf. Uh, I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but I know what they mean. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is what we were doing last episode. So as you see, we've got a sheep farm. We've got a, a cow farm, pig farm over here. Uh, looks like... Pat has nicked an enchanting table. We've also got just random crop farms, loads of trees, um, <laughs> only a little. So yeah, oh look at that, neat tree. Uh, and then this is obviously the start of the, war uh, the wharf thing. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot going on here. This is what I was accomplishing last episode. My main aim was to get a full level 30 enchanting table, which is what I got. Here, do you want to put it like... Maybe over here, there's like a big area we could like... Yeah, sure. Dig a... Oh, excuse me, a mold. You guys have been going to town over here, by the way. It looks really nice. Ah, I was... You and Hydro make a good productive team. <laughs> this was for the community, you know, because I didn't do much last season. Because I, well, didn't get the opportunity. Well, you also joined later last season. Yeah. Here, do you have a spade to help dig this out? I do. One, two, three, one, two... Yeah, that'll be fine. If you just do like, yeah, the two base layers in there. Nice, I wonder what we'll see. Oh, hopefully this doesn't link up to theirs and then teleport us a thousand blocks away. Ah, oh, you had to say uh, that right as we, uh, right as we entered. It, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Oh, it, it's, let's go through again and see where it takes okay. us. No, no, it's it's only a hundred blocks, so I, I'm pretty confident. Well, no, a hundred times good. eight is eight hundred, so... Oh, we're going to be course. like eight hundred <laughs> blocks in it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. oh, almost a thousand. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I, I just ran out over to zero zero. There's a lava ravine. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll zero zero is right here, right where I am. And if people want to make um like tunnels to it and stuff, this would probably be easier than having it above. Whatever you say, that's fine. Ooh. I know I don't have. I do not have an axe. Oh, and I made a button. Oh, I made another button. <laughs> So now I just need to get some quartz up here. A little, yep. little bit of quartz. I wish I had a fortune pickaxe. That would. Yeah, that would be oh. nice. That being said, hey. I do want to try to get more diamonds this season. I, I want to try to get a lot of diamonds through business though, because yeah, last season I never had that much. I yeah, I think last season was probably one of my highest diamond counts in SMP. Well, maybe not for one of my SMPs, but I had over a stack mm. of diamond blocks, which was. Nice. Uh, mainly from yourself, of course. Like your <laughs> yeah. Purchases. I a lot of diamonds for those. Dang! I I told you once you get that gunpowder shop running, I'm be your number uh, one customer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to tell me your coordinates? So I can sure. You. Uh, well, it's, it's, you should be able to see it from zero zero actually, but it's okay. 100 and, 160 basically. Just 100 x 60 z. Uh, what's z? No, I'm just kidding. Ta did you say negative or just ah uh, positive? Both positives. It, it looks like that's a clean number. Ah, uh, I'd be careful doing that. You might die if with no food. You might because I was taking a lot of hit and I've got mostly pro three. Oh, I'm dying. Here, do you need food? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to get a blaze run. Okay. Whoa. There's so many. I would be careful if I were you. But I might hit you. Not on purpose, of course. Here, I would get in. You, you, you. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm monitoring my health. I'm, I'm. Whenever I get halfway, I, I just duck out. Oh, yeah, I wish we had arrows. Let's go find uh, a, a real skelly. 
Where did oh, I see? You. Sorry, I, I just ran away. Yeah, they've they've nicked the war. I wish they would have left some of it. Um, oh, the way they yeah. did leave some of it. They did. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Great. In the back, good, good on them. Good on. I was them. gonna say I wouldn't think they would take all of it. All right, I mean, well, I'll take we... I'll take the ones that are grown and then I'll replant. Yeah, look at that. They left a whole one. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should we should take some back to zero zero for sure. Yeah, yeah. I got I got, I just got nine there. I replanted. Essentially, there's there's ten ten fence posts in between every log, right? Yep. Uh, at every log, uh, you can build like a staircase down, mm -hmm. and or a bridge over whatever. Essentially, yeah. you can put a plot at the log. Right. Um, yeah. Facing the log, and you have about like twenty blocks of space, which right, is a okay. good amount of space. Um, are, are these like intersections then? These bits here. Well, these are just unfinished. I haven't finished, but uh, I was planning on putting the post office right here. Okay. Um, well, I was going to say you would you would only have like eleven, because if it's ten between, then five either way. Sorry, yeah, that's what. So, I, but yeah, I mean, eleven's yeah, good enough. So that was my Nether adventure with uh, Patnat. Now, what my plan is going to be is I'm going to have a look at the chests, see what there is. And I'm going to take whatever I feel is necessary. So, uh, the rest of this episode is going to be dedicated towards getting to the place where I'm going to do my project, do my sort of base. And really what I'm going to be doing this uh, season is obviously last season I built a nether base, something a little bit different. Uh, this time, however, oh, look at that. That is wicked. And look at the way it's loading. I'm first here. So any potential temples we find or whatnot, that will be first, but look at that. That is neat. These are still my favourite biomes. But we won't be building in this biome, so yeah. We're going to try and get there as far as possible using a boat. Um, but yeah, I built in the nether last episode, uh, last season, and it was uh, it was pretty good. It worked pretty well. People liked it. I, I thought it was alright. It's probably one of my favourite bases I've ever done in this game. Uh, we're going to have to disembark here. I'm just going to leave my boat. Actually, no, I'm just going to take it with me. What can I get rid of? One iron. I bet you'll miss that piece of iron later on. But yeah, another base last uh, season. This season we're going to be doing another sort of base. It's not a base so much as it's a build. Um, I'm not going to say what it is quite yet. Uh, reference was actually made to something it's based off of last episode. Um, but only in passing. It wasn't like a serious reference and it wasn't even a reference made by me. And I'd already had this plan to do this thing before this person made the reference, but uh, I'll explain more about that later this episode. Oh, you know what some dark oak saplings would be called? I'm having a look around for some temples, but I don't see any. Okay, so I got myself 11 dark oak saplings, because I think they might be useful. Uh, now we are continuing our journey to the location. That is um, light cast by the sea, or oh, what's it called? Yeah, the the things that cast light under the water. <laughs> I forgot the names of them. Um, the sea pickles? Yeah, that's right. Uh, but yeah, we're just making our way down this river. It's a pretty nice world. i got to say, there's quite a lot of ocean. The world was selected with the uh, ocean, uh, or the update aquatic in mind. There we go. And the journey continues. Once again, we are in a boat. It would be nice to find a wreck, maybe, but I'm not really on the lookout for them. Oh, look, there's a wreck. Oh, we've got to go for it. We just have to. It's just so convenient. It's quite cool. It's like buried in the side of a hill under the water. Oh, here we go. I can't dig it because there's like sand on top. What the heck? Is that? Why is that not coming? Oh, it's because of the trap doors. The water's not spilling in. Alright, we've got paper, pumpkins, wheat. Uh, none of it is really useful. I wish you could pull enchants off stuff. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh no. Oh, there we go. And we got a buried treasure map. Alright, we are up. Oh look, look at that. There is a cool lava ravine down there right next to the wreck. Let's have a look at it. Oh, we've got to go back the way. Well, that's kind of annoying. Alright, so irony of ironies, we've had to travel all the way back to where I chopped down the dark oak sapling, which was actually a fair distance away from where I found the wreck. Hey, there it is. First time. Oh, look, we've got a heart of the sea. Whew. That is neat. And we're back here. Back here again. Sea pickles. 
Forgot the name last time we came around this bend. I would imagine the server would be lagging right now just because um, I'm loading a lot of new chunks. Although hopefully by the time I've loaded all of these chunks I won't need to load uh, too much more. Um, but yeah, we're just continuing our, our journey here. It is a long one. It's probably about as far as I went last time because if you remember at the start of uh, the first season, uh, I joined late obviously. I went in a direction I felt very few people had gone and I did walk for quite a long way, about three or four thousand blocks so yeah this is on a par with that. Well here we are, we're on the exact block, uh, well this is the exact block that I'd marked down but this is where the build is going to start and grand reveal time, although it might be the title so not really a grand reveal. Um, we're going to build a wall as um, certain people have said and the reference that was made last episode was to the the wallet of Game of Thrones. I think Hydro made the reference. Oh, bit of lag. I didn't know mobs spawn this rapidly in these uh, these biomes. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and build a wall. Um, the reason it's in the ice plains is because it's... I don't want to say it's inspired by Game of Thrones because I've never... Oh, oh well there we go. First uh, creeper explosion. I've never actually watched Game of Thrones. Like I've watched scenes of it, and I know like the plot lines and the characters and all that. And I do have the first book, but I've never actually, you know, sat down and uh, watched an episode of it or whatever. But I do know of the wall. I do know of its significance. A lot of the uh, the storylines happen around there. Part of the reason I haven't watched Game of Thrones, I should say, is because of the violence the inhumane nature of it at times and you know that sort of stuff doesn't interest me an awful lot. I can see why it would be dramatic and why it's one of the most popular TV shows uh, out there at the minute but I, it just doesn't interest me but one of the fascinating things about it is the wall obviously and it's divide. It's a divide. Uh, you've got the wildlings or whatever they're called to the north and you know the country or of Westeros or whatever to the south. That's kind of what I want to do here. Basically we're at a coast here and then I think there's a coast about I don't know how far I don't I, I've not actually visualized this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out with some cobblestone that I've got I'm going to mark out in a straight line where the wall is going to go from coast to coast and after I do that we'll know the extent of the task at hand now I don't just want to build a wall out of one material I do want to make it look decent um, but we're going to have to think about the logistics of it, we're going to have to think about whether it's going to be straight, because think about it, there's mountains in the way, I might have to get rid of it, if I've got the patience that is. Um, but right now we're just measuring, we're just looking at the route. Uh, and of course there's plenty of other walls in uh, history that are interesting, things like the Great Wall of China. In the UK we've got the uh, Hadrian's Wall, a wall built across the north of England to keep the, um, it was built by the Romans, built across the north of England to keep the uh, the Celts or the Picts out of uh, the Roman territory in, uh, in the south. There's also a wall in Scotland built by the Romans called the Antonine Wall, except you can't really see it, you can just see the ditches of the, the trenches and that sort of a thing, the moat, or not the moat, but you know, the, the extra defences they would have had. So yeah, walls are a pretty interesting feature. That's what we're going to try and build here. And we'll hopefully get to utilise ice and that sort of a thing. Uh, but right now I'm just trying to mark out cobble. We're not or mark it out with cobble. We're not necessarily going to use cobble, but that's just the most extensive block I've got in my inventory at this moment in time. And as you can see we're coming to a forest, but that's okay because um the well we need resources and this will be a perfect supply of it. The idea is we're going to be building the wall from coast to coast and it's going to act as a sort of defence for everyone else in the world. Obviously Minecraft's a big place, people may even be living beyond the wall, who knows, but the idea is that it's going to be uh, something spectacular. Now I'm talking it up, hopefully I can get it finished. We're actually, we've run out of blocks, so I'll have to get some more. But if we run in this direction, hopefully, we will eventually come to a coast. We are going to have to cross another river. And yes, the idea is we're going to build a wall from there to there. It's going to be a divide. It's going to be kind of like a defence. There's nothing really there. And mobs will spawn behind the wall as well. But you just got to imagine, really. Uh, it's going to be a big project. Will I get it finished? 
we can only speculate. But uh, yeah, that is what I uh, wish to accomplish this uh, uh, this season. Could it get tedious? Yes. Could it get boring? Yes. But hopefully, hopefully over the course of time I can uh, get it sorted. Oh look, an igloo. Oh, neat. Let's go and uh, check it out. Might as well just start my first base here. Look, we've got a polar bear as a neighbour. What more could you want? That's not very stable, so we will definitely take advantage of those reeds. Who's a nice guy? Oh dear. Deep groans. I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm just going to sit in here. <laughs> the polar bear's guarding the entrance to my house. Pretty sure there's like a, a place you can go down. Is it here? I thought there was a place you could go down with the villagers and that, but I've never been able to find it. I have no clue. Zero clue as to where when it is. And we found ourselves a cave down here. There are zombies around, which are getting kind of annoying. Um, but either way, this is where we're going to be digging. If I can just go down here. Yep, here's the... Oh, look, there is diamonds. I was about to say, it doesn't necessarily mean it's diamond level, but... What do you know? There is diamonds. Oh, hello, there is the zombies. I wonder if that's enough for chance, because I did bring a single book with me. Uh, let's dig it up. Oh, it's just enough. We could make full diamond with it, but I don't know. I'd rather make an enchanting table and uh, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so we're sorted here. There's redstone. Not much else. But that's pretty cool. So we've already got ourselves our own enchanting table. There was the one I built at 00. zero. That was just a community one. Uh, I say just a community one, but it's always nice to have one around there, I'm sure. If I was being smart, I could have uh, got four obsidian when I had a previous diamond pick. But the good thing is, at least I've got a diamond pick now that I can use for mining. Hopefully we can get a good enchant on it. Efficiency one on breaking one would be ideal. Alright, here we go. Enchanting table number two for me. No achieve, uh, no, well, no advancement this time. Uh, ooh, it's tricky. I'm gonna, I was gonna go for the breaking. Let's just take the efficiency. No, we didn't get breaking with it. That's kind of unfortunate, but we do have two spear diamonds, which is good. Close to helmet. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of digging here. Try and get some more cobblestone. And then we can work towards um, completing the mould, I guess you could say, of the um, the the wall. Got a feeling, yeah, I was going to say, I've got a feeling there's a baby zombie that's been following me around. Man, these cave systems are very extensive. Hey, more diamonds. This is it, full diamond. Knew I'd find some. I wonder if I'm first to full diamond. Not sure if Bombastic has um, been mining all night, because if he has then uh, that's obviously... Oh hi. I wonder if they spawn behind me. Yeah, I wonder if Bombastic's been mining all night, in which case he may well have got full diamond. Jings, Crivens and help my bulb. Look at all these mobs. Yeah, I, d I guess probably Bombastic doesn't uh, quite answer the question, but it's a good bet that he is. Anyway, regardless, if he is already full diamond, I'm not that far behind him. There we go, got our full D. Oh, look, more diamonds. Hey, that is nice. Suddenly I'm getting lucky on diamonds in the, these updates. I was having a lot of problems in the snapshots, but now they're just... Seems to be coming from all over. I should be using those blocks to patch things up because I need them. I need cobble. I think we're going to come out in another cave here. One that I've already been to. Yep. As predicted. Oh, somebody's found me. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, more diamonds. What the heck? 
What the actual heck? Not one of these people that just play survival to get diamonds. Boy, this is ridiculous. Alright, here's the end of our progress. I do now have nine stacks of cobblestone on me, which will hopefully be enough to complete this uh, outline. Again, this is just so that if I'm, uh, you know, wandering around, I know exactly where it is just by looking at this line of cobble. And yeah, we'll just see how far it is, or how long it takes. Alright, and here we are, at the edge of the world. Uh, or certainly at the end of the wall, as you can see. I'll be honest, it is just over a thousand blocks, a one thousand block wall. Uh, again, I'm not quite sure what design I'll do. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'll even be able to pull this off, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try. And as we run out of food there, I am probably going to end the episode there. Um, it's way, way too late to be doing anything. Uh, I've got what I wanted to do in this episode sorted. We have got the wall built, or not the wall built. Oh, duh, of course. Of course, we've not got the wall built. It's only just the beginning, but we've got the um, location of the wall marked out. And hopefully, we'll get on to designing it next episode. Uh, hopefully, the blocks I choose aren't too difficult. Um, but until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you later.